Hello, my Taurus. Welcome back. All right, so you know the deal. It's a general reading. Take what resonates. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, the link to my website is in the description box below. Okay, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by just getting some general universe messages. What do they want to say to the Taurus? And then after that, I'm going to go take a peek into what uh, the person you're dealing with wants to say to you and what you want to say to them back. I thought Mercury retrograde, why not, right? Let's just give it a go, shall we? Okay. All right. Something might be changing with your family. Something that uh, was said may bring a change to your family. I don't know exactly what I mean by that. Okay. Um, yeah, but I'm feeling like family is very important to you or maybe you value that is something that you highly value is your family. Um, give me messages for the universe. Um, from the universe, for the universe, whatever. From the universe for Taurus, please, messages. Well. Okay, well, I see money. I also seen somebody here, something about like knowing their worth, the feminine energy. So if this is you or someone you're dealing with, I'm really kind of picking up this feminine energy, um, realizing their worth, that they are abundant. I see money coming in through feminine energy here. A lot of grounded, groundedness coming so far. I mean, I have uh, the door to value, money, money, like I was saying. I have man holding a coin. Okay, so new offer perhaps, or somebody could be, I'm getting some new offer. You could be being given something. Yeah. This could be, um, Karma, what you're being given. This could affect money or be related to money. And this also could be good or bad. It just sort of depends on what your karma is. What work did you put into things? What was the effort? How much did you value yourself? I think that's kind of their main message to you that, that you are abundant and um, some of you may fully realize that, but there's something about the universe giving you something here. And the last thing they're saying is you could be a little bit undecided about a road to take or a path to take, but I caution you because one of the roads you might get stuck. I'm not sure what that means, but it's like there's a, with this indecision card, see she's standing, she has two different roads. I'm sensing one of them leads to this. So I'm not exactly sure what I mean by that, but you will have a choice between two roads. One, you will get stuck and the other one, well, it seems to be open. So whether you're physically driving or this is a decision you're making in life. So again, <coughs> something to think about. Be careful of the path you choose. I'm seeing a very good looking person here. And she has a secret. So I don't know if this is you or somebody you're dealing with, but somebody has a secret. 
Yeah, see, look at her face expression. She's like, hmm, I have a secret. <laughs> okay, cool, good. Is it you, Taurus? Do you have a secret? Or is it an individual on your path? Ooh, I dropped it. Something may, you may drop something. That's another thing that I was getting in. In the pre-shuffle, I was picking up something about like something falling or dropping. You could be carrying too much of something and something falls. I'm hearing like breaking free of a negative energy. Something is something is going on here. All right. Um, universe, show me the person that Taurus is dealing with. What do they want to say? Oh, they're ready. They, they I didn't even. Psh. They're like, what do I want to say to you, Taurus? The fool in the world card. They are on a new journey. Some of, uh, I mean, you could be dealing with somebody that wants to move or desires to travel the world. But I think in general, this person's just like, I am, <laughs> it's kind of this kind of screw it all energy, you know? <laughs> yeah. I'm not sensing anything super negative yet. I'm just seeing somebody who, I feel like this person is fiery. They're taking on, it's like they're setting themselves free from something. Or they will be this, they're just taking on a totally new path. That's what they want. And they, for some reason, want to tell you this. Uh, what else do they want to say to Taurus? Um, I think they do see you, they see you as some sort of soulmate or they see you as very key. This could be a partnership. This could be a relationship as well. It could be an Aquarius, Gemini that you're dealing with. doesn't have to be, but I'm just hearing like, ideally you are a good partner for this person or they may realize that. Or they want you to realize something. Cause I'm seeing, I'm seeing like somebody not seeing it here. So there's some sort of point to this because it's like the king of pentacles this is you with the lovers so an ideal mate but i feel like that would be stability wise they see a lot of stability in you Hmm, interesting. What is the star card here? What is the star card here for? Oh, yeah, it's interesting because the cards are positive, but I'm feeling a weird energy from this. Um, they might be trying to... You may have broke their heart. They, they may feel as if they had been waiting for you. It's like, cause I see heartbreak and waiting here, leaving somebody stuck, leaving them hanging. And then the, and then this combination. Hmm. 
bringing down the house is what I'm hearing. Something about, I don't know, I mean. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I feel like this person definitely, it's very conflicting energy. I do see a potential for a new beginning, but this is extremely karmic, it feels like. Because, you know, I think this is a soulmate. I think this is something, somebody that you're dealing with, but there's like cloudiness here and there's, it's like manifesting an ending or something about a house. Something um, could happen at a house and, and this is being manifested is what I'm feeling. That's why it's so weird. I don't know. I mean, because it's almost like they view you in a good light. But maybe there's another person involved here. This is a little bit confusing energy. We are in many retrogrades. So, but yeah, it's like you're the ideal match, but then you, there's some heartbreak in waiting. So it's like somebody releases themselves from something or wants to start a new path. All right. <laughs> okay. Um, what does Taurus want to say to this person, please? What does Taurus want to say to this person? Well, I think that you view them like, well, you want to say, I think that you do, <laughs> for some reason, I feel like you're telling them I think you view them that you're speaking to your empress or your emperor, you know, depending on what, what your style is. Um, but I'm also feeling like that's you, like you're always creating your, there's abundance, stability here. You do well on your own. I also am picking up fertility because I'm hearing fertile in my head. So, but you may make a decision about this empress. I feel like you like them, definitely. You, you may want to make, you know, commit to this person. Um, what does Taurus want to say to the person they're doing? Okay. <laughs> you could be dealing with a water sign. Air sign, water sign. Okay, well, what do you want to say to them? Hmm. There might be something that you think about when you're laying in bed. Perhaps it's something someone said. It's like your their their words. The Eight of Swords here. So you're getting a repeating thought and it's very, there's a lot of conflict here. You're thinking about this person. Something this person said to you. I have a feeling this person doesn't have your best intentions at heart. You could be worried about a water sign and and your work or something like that. Or I'm just seeing you seeing you worrying at work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, something could be over here, or in it, it may end. I'm not exactly sure, but. The, you know why this is confusing, I think, for me? is because the energy is very, like, manifesting the relationship, manifesting a relationship. Um, magician, four of wands. And then all of a sudden here, we've got uh, ten of swords. Um, ten of swords again. Seven of swords. Nine of swords. The world card. Uh, it's almost like the timelines don't match up with what's going on.
between the both of you. You may decide something about this person, you can, or if it's not a relationship person, you may make you may decide something about a mother or your mother. And for some reason, this is going to worry you about your, in regards to finances here. Huh. Interesting. But then I see a potential for, like, somebody is going to try to re-spark something up. I don't know. This is kind of weird. So you could be in a little bit of a strange situation or a strange moment because I feel like the person you're dealing with does want healing. Um... Or they're going to realize something. Or you will. Take what resonates. I feel like that was flippy floppy. But that could be <laughs> this scenario. <laughs> cool. Sounds fun. All right. Well, I'm done here, Taurus. Bye-bye. <laughs>